earliest memories of Steve Swallow date back to my high school days, when I would come across his name while flipping through the real book, often attached to some very colorful song titles. The first time I actually heard Steve Swallow play the bass was when I discovered the now legendary 1961 trio recordings, with Jimmy Jufri on clarinet, Steve on bass, and Paul Blay on piano. This spacious and chamber-like approach to improvised music had a profound effect on me. As I was already obsessed with all things Jimmy Jufri, any players associated with him also became an obsession. I first heard of the music of Art Landy while I was a student at the Eastman School of Music, and it was about four years later when I actually got to meet him and play music with him for the first time. It was an exciting and impactful experience for me because it was the first time that I had a chance to play with someone who I truly considered to be a master improviser and pianist. The first time I got to play with Steve was while touring with Ohad Talmor's Sextet. Playing with Steve was a dream come true, and he also didn't mind answering my endless questions about all things Jimmy Jufri. When I told Art that I was going to play with Steve, he told me about the jazz rock quintet that they played in together in San Francisco in the early 70s. Having always wanted to make a record with elder master musicians, the knowledge of Art and Steve's previous relationship coupled with the similar chemistry I felt with them both gave me the idea for this project. <laughs> 